So, finding collisions, we maybe should find out how a collision, how likely it is for a collision to happen, uh, at least when we look at an idealized version of a hash function. So, for that I want to introduce the birthday problem. So, let's assume birthdays are distributedly, distributed uniformly over the entire year. If you come to a birthday party, then how high is the probability that two guests of a party with 23 people have the same birthday? So, out of these 23 people, did any two guests have the same birthday? Somewhere in the year. Well, turns out this probability is actually around 50%, which is a lot higher than you would think intuitively, right? So, how come? Well, let's say the party only has four guests, and let's check how many pairs can we form. So, we want to check if the party guests A, B, C, D, if there's a pair that has the same birthday. So, well, we can check does A have the same birthday as B, does A have the same birthday as C, has, does A have the same birthday as D, does B have the same birthday as C, does B have the same birthday as D, or does C has the birthday at the same birthday as D. And now we have checked all pairs, all possible combinations of birthdays. And turns out this equation here shows how many pairs we can have, where n is the number of people on the party. So, turns out, for 23 people, we already have, given this equation, 253 possible pairs. And given that the year has only 365 days, now we kind of understand how, why this probability can be so high. Because we can uh, have a lot of pairs to compare to, right? So, if we have an, given a hash function with an output length of n, when we launch a brute force attack on finding a collision, that is, we just try random inputs and see if any of those inputs, the hash outputs collide, we need roughly uh, 2 to the power of n half tries until we find such a collision. And uh, it gives us a, a probability of at least a half. So, this stems from this birthday problem that I've showed earlier, and it's also called the birthday bound. And the derivation from this birthday problem to the birthday bound is actually quite neat, um, but it doesn't make much sense to present it on slides, so you'll find it in the accompanying literature.